Luka Doncic straight dominated that entire game. I mean, <laughs> watching it, 10 points in the first three minutes of the game, had 20 in the first quarter, and then proceeded to just step on throats for the rest of the game. I mean, 36, didn't really even play in the fourth. This guy came out and flat out balled. He was doing it all over the place. I mean, his first point was going in for a floater. Gobert goes up, boom, goal 10, two points. Next one, step back, three, left wing, bomb. Just, it, it was just like, Ant in the post game was like, yeah, he hit three logo threes on us. Like, what do you want me to do? That was that was pretty much, and that's a great summarization as to what happened that game. <laughs> Not to mention Kyrie also with 30 plus points this game. I mean, they both just dominated, but Luka specifically, and we are not strangers to this in the playoffs with him. He's been doing this consistently in the playoffs his entire career. He's played the Clippers three times in the playoffs, and he's lost twice, like once in the bubble, once later on, and then this year he beat him. And in this series this year, he wasn't like that good, but he was still putting up like 29, 7, and 8, which is like, that's, that's insane. And the fact now that he's able to ramp it up to that level of dropping 36 points and going nuts in a closeout game, Come on. Not to mention that the fact that he blew out the Suns in, in that elimination game in Phoenix. That was just manslaughter. I mean, having the amount of points as the team at half, I mean, that's that's crazy, right? But Luka's one of these generational guys who could just come in and just mess stuff up. He'll just go crazy. I, I'm glad that he's in the finals this time because I want to see what he can do on the biggest stage. It's been so much talk. As to, man, he's never got MVP, which he didn't get this year. It was, like, looking kind of close for a little bit. Oh, man, he's never had a deep playoff run. He's been in the Western Conference Finals, like, twice. Never got past it at that point. But, I mean, he's in the Finals now. And the path that he took to get there. I'm not, I'm not going to say he. I want to talk about them. Every, all The whole Mavs organization went crazy this year. Pickups, signings, trades. Like, they did phenomenal. But they, you know, went to the Clippers in the first round. They had a lot of expectations going on. They have Kawhi. He was injured. PG James. I mean, this team, you know, can they do it? Mavs take them out. Next round, OKC, young, number one seed, really, really good. Can they do it? Take them out. And it's been flat out defense. Timberwolves, who beat the Nuggets, the defending champions, come in hot. Take them out in five games. I mean, it was, it was going to be a sweep, basically. They pretty much rolled over and died in game five. So it's a very, very... Very nice gentleman sweep. And the reason I want to talk about this is because, like, the whole regular season for all of his career has been, oh, Luka's a very good advanced stats guy. I mean, he puts up good numbers. He it looks he does all the right things on the court. Man, his offensive rating as a player is amazing. Uh, his box plus minus, all this stuff is very, very good. But then you just get the playoffs, dude, where he comes out and he flat out balls. Balls. Straight up dropping people off left and right. I mean, he's coming in hitting bombs. Like... Oh, it's it's just it's amazing to watch. I'm I don't like some of the stuff that he does, like the the baiting and the fouls and the stuff. Like he gets away with some crap that like the NBA like supposed to take out, where he pump fake and then the whole James Harden thing. And he does he gets called like that's a foul, and it's like that should be complete opposite where he should be getting called for that. Outside of that, Luca man, Luca Magic is the perfect nickname for this fool. He comes out and it's just magic. Some of the stuff that he does. Crazy. His level of intensity, his competitive fire is basically unmatched at this point. It, Anthony Edwards looked like he had it, kind of just died. But we've seen it twice. Very, very bright burning, right? Game 7 in Phoenix, killed him. Game 5 in Minnesota, killed him. They were up by 36 at one point, right? So two very good showcases of what Luka Doncic could do. And he's only in his sixth season, like... His level of play is very, very longevity friendly, right? Um, there's only there's only one guy who I take over Luka at this point in the league in terms of good players. That's Nikola Jokic. Outside of that, I take Luka over Giannis at this point. As of right now, as a player right now, Giannis has he's, he's been good, but Luka has been on another level. He averaged 34 points this season, right? Based on what I saw this season, and if he wins a ring, right? I mean, he, Giannis has a, the DPOI and the MVPs. Uh, and the ring, but if Luca wins his ring, which I think they, I think they can get this ring. If Luca wins his ring, gets one ring, and he's tied with Giannis already. Like that's crazy. But I take Luca over guys like Shea, Tatum, even guys like Curry, Ant, right? Guys like that. 
Luca is on another level. And it's it's just it comes down to he just balls out, dude. He balls the freak out. In terms of in terms of a Mavs Celtics preview, I don't really have much. I think the Mavs are gonna win. It's gonna be probably six or seven. My playoff bracket was like jacked up. Not even close. I had the Clippers against the, against the Celtics, but I mean, I kind of had to. As an obligation to being a fan of this team, who sucks. <laughs> but very, very fast. I think the Mavs are deeper. I think they have better overall cast. And I think their two superstars, potentially, are greater than the superstars over there in Boston. So, it's gonna. I think they're going to cancel each other out at the end of the day. And then it's going to come to the, down to the role players. Boston runs maybe three, four, five deep in terms of... Like Drew Holiday, Derek White, Al Horford, and then maybe two other guys. Dallas runs 10 deep going into their bench. Like, they've, they've got guys who have shown that they can come out and play ball. On top of Luke and Kyrie, I don't know if anyone's stopping that. So, once again, shout out to the Mavericks for, for having an amazing season, man. I'm very excited for the finals. So, that's all I got. We out.